And Geshe-la reminds us, he says, we should not think because we're practicing secret mantra, we are above these practices. So, um, if we cannot go for refuge at the level of initial scope practitioner, there is no way we will be able to go for refuge of the great scope. So it's not enough to have an intellectual understanding of the teachings. We have to take them to heart in meditation again and again until our mind genuinely changes. We're looking for change in our mind coming from the wisdom of Lam Rim and our Guru's blessings. If we meditate regularly on the stages of the path, we will develop a special feeling for these practices and we will be delighted whenever we hear Lam Rim. So I think this is a wonderful indication. If we, if we cherish Lam Rim, cherish Lam Rim practice, whenever we hear Lam Rim teaching, we don't think I know this, we think I love this. And a special feeling appears in our heart. The more experience we have of Lam Rim, the more uh, pure enjoyment comes. Such special blessings come. Geshe-la says, we will be delighted whenever we hear Lam Rim teachings. If we do not meditate regularly, listening to such teachings will feel like eating the same food again and again. If we take these instructions to heart through regular meditation and our mind is genuinely moved by them, we will have great power to influence others by giving teachings and advice. And through our example, someone with little or no meditative experience who tries to teach Lam Rim will have no power to help others. So again, this is encouragement. We need to practice um, from the depths of our heart the whole Lam Rim. <clears throat> 